The AA subway train to Harlem. I clutch my mother's sleeve, her arms full of shopping bags, Christmas heavy, the wet smell of winter clothes, the trains lurching. My mother spots an almost seat, pushes my little snow-suited body down. On the one side of me, a man reading a newspaper. On the other, a woman in a fur hat is staring at me. Her mouth twitches as she stares and then her gaze drops down, pulling mine with it. Her leather gloved hand plucks at the line where my new blue snow pants and her sleek fur coat meet. She jerks her coat closer to her. I look. I do not see whatever terrible thing she is seeing on the seat between us. Probably a roach. But she has communicated her horror to me. It must be something very bad from the way she's looking, so I pull my snowsuit closer to me, away from it too. When I look up, the woman is still staring at me. Her nose holes and eyes huge. And suddenly I realize there is nothing crawling up the seat between us. It is me she doesn't want her coat to touch. The fur brushes past my face as she stands with a shudder and holds on to a strap in the speeding train. Born and bred, a New York City child, I quickly slide over to make room for my mother to sit down. No word has been spoken. I'm afraid to say anything to my mother because I don't know what I've done. I look at the sides of my snow pants secretly. Is there something on them? Something's going on here. I do not understand, but... I will never forget it. Her eyes, the flared nostrils, the hate, the hate. Every day of every year, swarms of illegal immigrants and bogus asylum seekers invade Britain by any means available to them. Why? They are only seeking the easy comforts and free benefits in soft-touch Britain, all funded by you, the British taxpayer.